Hey everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my signature soft glam look on my gorgeous model, Elia. She is like a sister to me. We had so much fun filming this look for you. So without further ado, if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And I hope you enjoy this video as much as we enjoyed making it. First things first, we're going to apply our base using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I'm going to apply a generous layer all over her skin. I think it's really important to hydrate the skin before applying makeup so that the foundation and concealer can apply more smoothly. As you can see, using moisturizers also just brings life back to the skin and it really helps combat any dullness. Next, I'm going in with this Bye Bye Under Eye Cream by IT Cosmetics. I'm applying a thin layer under the eyes and on the lids as well. This cream helps to reduce any puffiness around the eyes and helps to hydrate the eye area. Of course, I'm using my favorite lip balm of all time. I'm applying a thick layer of my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask on the lips to soak while I'm applying the makeup. This is the most hydrating lip balm I've ever used, so if you have not yet tried this, run, do not walk. You absolutely need to. It will change your life. Next, I'm applying Wonder Glow by Charlotte Tilbury as a primer. This product is a gorgeous product for many reasons. It gives the skin a gorgeous sun-kissed glow beneath makeup. It smooths pores. It also has anti-aging properties. This is even beautiful all on its own without any makeup on top of it. I like to focus this product on the center points of the face and along the cheekbones. Since Elia has such flawless looking skin, I'm going to be using this NARS Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Finland and applying a thin layer of that all over the face and slightly building up in thin layers in any areas that I feel like could use a little bit more coverage. This Tinted Moisturizer is a must-have personally as well as in my kit. It evens up the skin without looking cakey, it provides a natural satin finish, and it's honestly the perfect product for a no makeup makeup look. And the shade range is incredible as well. My only critique would be that if you're very oily, you might find this product a little bit shiny looking, but in my opinion, it's nothing that a little setting powder throughout the day can't fix. Next, I'm going to be trying out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer for the first time. I'm using shade 3, which is a few shades lighter than Elia's skin tone, but this will help to brighten up the under eyes as well as to highlight the areas that I want to bring forward. This concealer is definitely full coverage. A little bit goes a long way, but for a full coverage concealer, I was very pleasantly surprised by how seamlessly it blended out and it didn't look cakey at all. I would really love to try this on someone who has hyperpigmentation or acne scars to see how it covers and how it performs. To set under the eyes, I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder on a pointed powder puff to make sure the concealer we just applied stays in place and doesn't crease at all. This powder does an excellent job of brightening up the under eyes as well. It's very finely milled so it doesn't look heavy under the eyes, which I really love. Next up, I'm setting the rest of the face with this Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil in the shade Sheer Light. I've really been enjoying this powder. I feel like it actually gives a very comfortable finish. Some setting powders really tighten and dry out the skin. This one does not, and I actually like how it doesn't give me a super, super matte finish. It just sets my makeup in place while still looking natural. And here's Elia, just being adorable. <laughs> Next, I am contouring and I'm going to be using the M Cosmetics So Soft Cream Bronzer in the shade Summer. I'm starting by applying a small amount just above the hollows of the cheeks and I'm using a tapered brush to blend that out. 
I'm avoiding blending below where I applied the product in order to ensure that the cheekbones look nice and lifted and defined. I'm blending the product upwards into her hairline for a seamless and natural looking contour. I really love these cream products from M Cosmetics. They are so pigmented and they blend out so easily and I really love the color range that they come with. I've used the blushes as well and I also really love those so yeah I just think this is a really well done product. I'm also going to apply a little bit of that bronzer on the perimeter of her forehead and then same thing blending it out with that same brush. So to set that cream bronzer, I'm going to be using a classic. I'm using the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. Using a small amount, I'm just going to lightly dust that on top of the contour we applied using a fluffy brush. I just feel like this prevents that cream bronzer from moving around too much. It also gives us a little bit of extra definition, which I like. To prime the eyes, I'm using my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base in the shade Medium. Using a small fluffy brush, I'm applying an even layer to the eyelids. This is going to help to even out any discoloration on the eyes and also to provide a solid base for the shadows to stick to so they last longer and apply smoother. So sadly, I dropped this absolutely stunning palette and broke it, but I am using this neutral brown shade from the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette, and I'm going to be sweeping that shade throughout the crease. I'm also going to focus some of that color in the outer V to create some depth and just to define the eye. I'm basically using this as a contour shade for her eyelids. I'm using a fluffy brush and working in thin layers. I'm just kind of gradually building up that color until I'm happy with it. Using a tiny brush, I'm going to apply that same shade along the outer third of her lower lash line, and I'm going to be extending that color from the lower lash line to connect with the outer corner on the lid. I'm keeping this pretty close to the lash line just to keep the eyes looking bright and lifted. I don't want this look to be too smoky underneath the eyes, I just want it to look quite natural. Oh, and here is us just vibing, doing a little dance. We were just feeling vibey, we were listening to some lo-fi. Um, unfortunately, you cannot hear the song that was playing because I'm afraid of getting a copyright strike, but yeah. Using this NARS Cream Highlighter, I'm going to apply this all over the lid using a flat shader brush. I went with this light champagne shade because I love the way this catches light on the lid. I also wanted to keep the lids looking bright and glowy. I wanted to draw attention to the eyes in a subtle and soft looking way and I found this shade did just that. I'm also going to apply a small amount on the lower inner half of the lash line. I'm going to dip into a different cheek palette by NARS, but using a powder this time, I'm going to go over the lid using this light shimmery shade to give a little extra dimension and a little added shine. This will also set that cream down so it won't crease or move around too much. Same thing, I'm just going to apply it underneath the eyes as well, just on the inner third. Next up, I'm going to be using this NARS Mambo Coal Liner to map out a winged liner. I'm just going to be extending the liner upwards following the angle of the lower lash line. On top of that liner, I'm applying this dark brown shadow from my Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eyes Palette. I'm using a small angled brush and just softly blending that shade on top of the coal to intensify the color slightly. 
And then if I need to, I take a little cotton bud. I actually got these ones in Japan and I just wet them slightly with some Bioderma and I use them to sharpen up the bottom edge of my liner. I really like to take my time with this. I like to make sure that my wings are even and they're both really skinny and snatched. I also do prefer brown over black for a soft glam look just because I feel like it's generally a bit more flattering than black. Not only is it not as dark and harsh, but I feel like it also brings out more color in the eyes themselves. It's a personal preference and you can totally do this look with a black liner, but I do generally gravitate towards dark brown. I also feel like when I set my coal liner with a shadow, I can kind of diffuse the edges a little bit just to soften up the liner. I'm going to be applying this coal liner from Swede in the waterline. I really like this liner because I find it always gives me the most natural look. I find sometimes when I use a light beige liner or even a white liner, it sometimes looks slightly unnatural. So with this liner, it always does just do exactly what I want and it naturally brightens the eye. Next, I'm going to coat Elia's beautiful long lashes with the NARS Climax Mascara. This is actually my first time using this mascara and I actually really liked the effect it gave. It gave me a lot of volume and a lot of length and no falsies needed, but I mean, Elia is also blessed with the most beautiful lashes ever, so that also helps. <laughs> To line the lips, I'm going to be using this lip pencil from MAC in the shade Whirl. This is my favorite lip liner ever. I've gone through so many of these. I love it for myself personally, but I always have one or two in my kit because I feel like they just look so good on everyone. For this look, I slightly did overline Elia's top lip, mostly just focusing on the cupid's bow area for that. And then I just lightly defined the outer edges of her lips following her natural lip shape. For lipstick, I'm using this matte lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Soft Touch. I'm mostly focusing this in the center of the lips and diffusing it outwards. I really love this pale pink lip on Elia, and for my signature glam looks, I do generally gravitate towards a light neutral, whether that be a bit more of a brown or a pink. In this case, I am going with a pink, and I really am happy with this lip combination. To finish off the lip, I'm going to be applying this lip gloss from Fenty Beauty in the shade Sweet Mouth. This lip gloss does make the lips look so shiny and so juicy. The glitter in this lip gloss is really subtle and it catches the light so beautifully without having chunky glitters throughout. For blush, I'm going back into the NARS cheek palette and I'm using the pink shade and applying that on her cheeks. I'm getting her to smile for me slightly so that I can apply that to the apples of the cheek and blend upwards. For me, I always love blush. I like to apply blush quite generously, especially for a signature look. I just think it looks really beautiful and healthy and just pretty. <laughs> for highlight, I'm going to be using that same palette and dipping into the same shade I used on Elia's eyes. And I'm going to be highlighting the high points of her face. So I'm going to lightly dust that on the high points of her cheekbones as well as a little bit on the bridge of her nose and on the tip of her nose. I'm also going to apply a little bit of that highlighter on the brow bone. For the final touch, I'm going to be applying a little bit of this light champagne glittery shade from my Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette again. I know Elia loves a bright shimmery inner corner, so I had to do this step just for her. The shade is quite glittery, I do personally like that, but if you wanted to, you could totally use the same shade we used to highlight and just apply that in the inner corner if you wanted a little bit less of a glittery look. And that is it for my signature soft glam look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up 
As always, I would love to hear from you, so leave a comment sharing what kind of video you would like to see next from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.